As a child, I really loved making things. I wanted to use my hands and my artistic abilities. And so it wasn't until college that I decided I'm going to be an artist. And so my bachelor's degree is actually in studio art. And at Denison University, I took a class in puppetry. Always loved puppets, always played with puppets as a child, made puppets. And it seemed like a, a good fit, you know, an art major who's going to be a teacher one day. Take a class in puppetry. And so I did, and it was so much fun, and I just had a great time. And my teacher actually had a connection with uh, the Muppets in New York City. And so he had sent several students previously to work at the Muppets. And so he said, I really think that you would be a good fit. And so I really loved working with Jim Henson. He had such a warm, wonderful personality. He was actually quite a father figure to uh, a lot of the young, younger people working at uh, Henson Associates and he had a really high sense of ethics. I worked on a lot of exciting projects. Um, I made some flower puppets for uh, Julie Andrews, uh, uh, Easter special, um, making uh, costumes for Miss Piggy. They did a, a command performance for the Queen of England and I made a bunch of top hats for all of the, the puppets. Culturally, it was just too much of a shift for me, ultimately. It just didn't feel like I belonged there. It was too much of a cultural shift for me at that point in my life. And so uh, that's when I looked into other kinds of jobs, and I decided that uh, toy design would be a good um, opportunity. I went to the toy fair, again in New York City, and so I was able to get into the toy fair, but instead of being a buyer of toys, I was actually interviewing for jobs. And so I had a, a pack over my arm with a couple of toys that I had made in there to show. This little, little gal was one of the toys that I actually took around with me at the toy fair. So I just walked around and I didn't realize that this is not what people normally do. And so then I went to the suburb of Minneapolis and I was a toy designer for a small um, uh, toy company called Animal Fair. I uh, was lucky to make a little licensed character and the licensed character was called Ted E. Bear. I really enjoyed uh, making toys. It was just so much fun for about three years. But uh, later, uh, manufacturing was t taken to the Orient and it also design was taken to the Orient and so my job was actually reduced to just sketching ideas and my quota was to come up with five toy ideas every day and that just took all the joy out of out of my job and I realized that my boss had an MBA and I thought hmm he's got an MBA I could do what he does. I'm going to get an MBA. And so that's when I made a really dramatic shift in, in my career path. I thought, well, if design's going to the Orient, I need to broaden my uh, skills. My MBA uh, really marked a major shift in my career path. And I'm, I'm pleased that I did that because then I discovered teaching. Uh, in order to continue on teaching, that meant I needed a PhD. And so I stayed on a few more years and got a PhD in communications with an emphasis in marketing communications. And so I made a, another really dramatic shift in my life. Started looking for a new position and it took me six months to find a new position and Bluefield College was the first college that invited me to interview. So I packed up my bags, I sold my house, I uh, uh, started over here at Bluefield College and that was about 10 years ago. My advice of, for students is to follow their dreams, find out what they're passionate about, and yes, of course you have to follow that. And here on my uh, computer I have my own 
mission statement. Um, it is uh, to love, equip, and inspire students to fully explore their potential in service to God and others, because ultimately it's about serving God, um, being a good servant to the Lord. And I think that if people really follow what they love, um, God's going to use their gifts.